hello everyone I thought well one of my viewers yes I'm in my pajamas <laughs> one of my viewers um, put a comment on that the last few videos having just music and no sort of interaction as such um, she asked for maybe a bit more of me waffling so here we go um, it's been a while so um, and I, I also wanted to try and catch up on all the Christmas cards that I'm trying to do um, I think there's like less than three weeks till Christmas and I still haven't made all my cards <laughs> so <laughs> yeah talk about being behind um, so I'm gonna put together this card I've cut all the pieces out but I'll show you I'll tell you what I've done um, I just thought that would save a bit of time um, I've used Versafine ink just for the outlines of all the characters and there's all these little pieces and for my birthday I got a ton of um, lawn fawn uh, dies and um, stamps and things so um, I'm going to show you how some of these work um, and obviously I mean I don't get anything for saying anything about them I'm not affiliated with them but I, I just thought they were really cute um, and I love the interactiveness of them so um, and then I'm also going to be combining that with my Stampin' Up um, cardstock and, and embossing folder and, and that so this is what the characters look like when I've cut them out um, and coloured them in these I used a um, what did I use on these I think I used Inktense pencils to colour them in and then use some water over the top to actually um, watercolour them, if you like. It dissolves the um, pigment, and uh, not the pigment, the um, pencil so that it looks more like paint. It's just a different look. So those are my little characters. Let's get them out of the way. And then I've got some soft sky uh, stamping up cardstock and it's 11 by four and a quarter and then what I did was I used two of these dies so I used the the which two did I use oh I used the large lawn fawn dies stitched rectangles and I used these two outer edge ones um, bigger ones and I sort of lined them up and then taped them with some post-it tape to so that when I die cut this it created a frame um, you can get some frames now as well um, I believe from lawn fawn so I made my own frame but obviously on the inside there's no stitching it's just on the outside and then what I did was I did it again but in white so this is in the soft sky and the piece that cut out the center here is actually um, what I've then used in a white version if that makes sense so that's those two then what I did oh what I did with this one as well is I used my Stampin' Up um, Lucky Stars embossing folder and I just ran it through the embossing folder. I just thought the stars would make a nice little um, texture. That's the word. Can you see that? I hope so. I can't see. I'm too short. <laughs> so, um, and then just to show you the stamp set that I used. This is the Toboggan Together and these are all the different characters and um, sentiments and things that go with it and the dies they don't they come joined as one piece um, and I've just cut them apart and then I've used a piece of um, magnetic sheet just to hold them onto and keep them in the same folder and that way they're all together so I don't have to think I've got the stamps but where are the dies they're all together so and I need a sentiment from that because I haven't got one for that so we'll do that in a minute and then what I did was I took two pieces of scrap cardstock and I die cut which way? These way? This way? <laughs> I cut these two. I cut the wavy bits of these 
using the stitched heel side border dies. If you can see that without in glare. Um, and I just literally used two scrap pieces. And then what I did with the one with the one that was going to be or will be in the bottom, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. I used the same size same size die here that would create this piece here in the middle so this piece this sorry second die down on the large set and I just put the die on the edge of that piece so that it cut so that you've got the stitching all the way around um, I thought that'd be a nice touch so that is all the pieces these are the intense pencils See, I, I was prepared. I had everything here. <laughs> I didn't think I did, but I did. Um, right, so I think I'm going to... Let's start by stamping the... Sentiment. I think I'll do that first. So let me just grab it out of here. And we can decide which one we want. Totally forgot I needed a sentiment. Oops. I'm using, these are our Stampin' Up! blocks, and I'm using block H. I think that'd be big enough. Which one do I want? What have I got on the other one? I can't remember. Oh, happy holidays. So let's do a Merry Christmas. Yes, let's. So, if you've got a really long... Um, stamp and it kind of you know gets a bit wiggly like that Whee! <coughs> sorry just put it face down so you can read the writing the right way up if that makes sense um, as if you'd stamped it and just let it drop onto the your surface that way it should when you put it on your block you should be able to just pick it up oh, along with everything else pick it up and it should be straight on the block I didn't exactly get it in the middle of the block but that's okay so I think what I'm going to do is because the other card I've got it on I've got one on the bottom if you haven't seen that video just um, go back of I think it's the video before this yes the video before this um, and I put it on the bottom corner but I think I'm going to do this one in the top so just got my verse fine Ugh. and I'm just gonna ink it up I'm just gonna stamp it somewhat straight she says eh, out there oh I just realised my Mary oh went off the page a bit that's alright we ain't gonna worry about that. Right, while I'm here, while I let that, not that it takes long to dry, I'm just gonna show you this as well. I'm showing you in my previous videos. This is our Stampin' Scrub. And basically, do it the right way around. You have two, two, what are these? Spongy things. No, fluffy things. <laughs> two pads. <laughs> and there's a tiny little thing in the corner, in each of the corners here. Um, one's got little raindrops or teardrops whatever you want to call them and one's got a little sun so one's for wet one's for dry and then this is our stamper mist and I'm just going to spray that on where the little raindrops are so the wet side just a couple spritzes take stamp still on the block and just give it a scrub and this side will clean it scrubby 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 and then this side, being the dry side, will dry it off. Oh. Ta da! A little bit of wet there, that's okay. And there you go. Oh, can't see that, I suppose. Look at that. Clean. I'm sorry, the black on the. Um, on the, uh, what's that thing called? The black on there just made it look a little 
um, makes the screen go funny. <laughs> right, so let's see. Let's get our little scene together. So like I say, I've got my um, embossed piece. I've got one of my, and you see this, this was a scrap piece, but I thought I'm not going to waste it. Because when you got this on, you're not going to know it's even there like that. You're not going to notice that it's like that. Don't you? Don't forget to use your scraps, guys. Right. So what do I want? How am I doing this now? So this is going to go like this. It's going to go like this. Oh yeah, I remember now. So this piece, which is the background, I'm going to stick flat. And because it's going onto an embossed piece of card, I'm going to put lots of adhesive. I've not like lost the plot a bit. Well, <laughs> it's debatable, but <laughs> I haven't totally lost the plot. Totally for sure. I think my dog's trying to get in my room. <laughs> you will have to be patient. This piece I'm going to actually put on some dimensionals. These are our um, stamping dimensionals, dimensionals and they're pretty cool because of the shape and they actually stick really really well so they're a good dimensional thing. Has he actually got it? Oh no he hasn't. I was going to say I don't think anybody can get through that door. Um, and if you need to, you can always cut these down. Don't forget that you've got all the all the like leftovers on the edge, you've still got those you can use. So don't forget that. Yep, he's determined to get in here. <laughs> he don't like being on his own. I think my husband's got his earphones on so he can't even <laughs> such a funny look like. Right, so I'm going to put this right on the edge here. So, I don't know if you can see it on video, but there's a, there's, you've now got this dimension. So it creates a background and a foreground. I know you guys know that, but you know, just saying. So, I want this little guy to be on here. These poor penguins are going to be working, working, working. Uh, where do I want this? Let's just do it like that. So I'm going to put him on his little schlee. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and then I've got Then this little guy that's walking, you see, can you see where this is going? He's going to be pulling the, the reindeer, a poor penguin, but you know, he's going to have his little Santa hat on. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. He's scratching, but he's not actually trying to get in. My dog, that is, not the penguin. Right, so I've got all my pieces prepped. I've got his little hat on, my little... Santa's penguin dude have got my sleigh and my little reindeer and then this little guy is just like what? <laughs> so I thought I could have him walking up the hill dragging this one up as he does just have to get the angle of this right I need him to be, you know, so he looks like he's going up that hill. And he needs to be maybe up there. Let's see, I just want to get the distance right, that's all I'm trying to do. Maybe I can do him like that. That would work, wouldn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Don't 
Sorry, just trying to work this one out. Or I could make that shorter. Because this guy needs to look like he's going up the hill. Let's just do this. All right, so these are going to be flat. Oh, it came off his level. No, oh, dude, you got to stay on there. So he's got to stay on there. Right, let's see, yeah, I'm just going to have to cut this a little, let's just do that. Just cut him like that wide. Perfect. That'll work. I want this guy over here. Oh, let's just make sure I've got this in the right sort of place. And then this I'm just gonna we get off. I'm going to stick this. Right, so the idea is that he looks like he's in, they're in the background, and then this little guy is in the foreground. If this makes any sense. It made more sense in my head, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't need two, do I? So what I've done here is because this is already raised up by one dimensional thick, I've only put it on the top of him so that when I put the bottom half on here, he'll be flush with this piece. So the dimension will be the same um, as the rest of the the rest of the card, if that makes any sense. So he's going to get stuck over here. And in the snow there. I feel like I need something here though. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm going to use a. Um, this is not a Winker Stella, this is a Crystal Clear uh, Spectrum Noir. Noir, can't say that word. Um, sparkle Pen. So I'm just going to give that a shake. I have used it, whether you can see it or not, on the penguins. Not sure if the camera's going to pick that up, but let's see. Maybe I can get it to sort of go along here and get it to. If I just paint it on, lots of. Sparkle everywhere. Don't need it to be too um, precise. I just want it so that when somebody looks at it, they go, Ooh, sparkly. Because, you know, everybody says that. get the card base done. I'm going to use my score buddy. just going to score this at five and a half. Half of eleven. Yes, even I can do that maths. <laughs> Sorry. Couldn't help myself. Now I haven't decided whether I'm going to raise the actual 
um, frame up or whether I'm going to do this kind of back to front um, of what I did on the last one. Should I raise that as well? So that it's the same height as that bit there. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Right. So the easiest way to get um, this panel in is before you put the frame on, or this is how I think it's easier, is you first get your adhesive on. And again, if you're using an embossing folder, you want to make sure that you use adhesive, although well, I kept ripping, that was weird, on all four sides, otherwise the um, because of the embossed bit, it seems to um, pull up. And then what I will do is, there's no adhesive on the frame, but I'm just lining it up with the edge of the card. And in theory, it should just line up nicely. Make sure you're on the right side of the card. And then just pop in this piece. And it should just fit in there perfectly because it is the same size as the piece that came out. See? Simple. I've got glitter everywhere. So, on these pieces, I'm just going to use some dimensionals, I think. Probably going to be a lot of dimensionals. Dimensionals? Actually, I'll use these um, longer bits. If I just cut down there, like a saw, oh, I should use that one, oh, doesn't matter. That piece on this end. Because <coughs> this is also all the, the same, um, same height and all that. Just, you know, deconstructing you. Yeah. Right, so I've got my adhesive all the way around. I'm just going to take all these pieces off. And we're nearly there. I know I did a lot of prep work beforehand, but I might have to just do that with the whole, um, you know, seeing as we're three weeks away from Christmas thing. But I will do a full video on how to make the entire thing um, from start to finish, even if I land up filming a few times just to get the, um, you know, all the pieces of the film together, if that makes sense. So, another tip, turn it upside down so you can line up this edge of your card rather than this edge. <laughs> My dog. Um, I just find it works better if you line it up. If I can see that. It just helps to line it up a little easier. Look at that. That's quite cool. Oh, you get a bit stuck there. There's a little off, but yeah. And there you go. So these pieces are all lined up. Somewhat. And then you've got some dimension because you can see into the card sort of thing. Could have raised it up some more. It might have been better, but I quite like it. There you go, guys. Um, the other thing I could do is I've got some snowflake dies. Actually, are these too big? Oh yeah, that's way too big. <laughs> Just thinking this corner needed something. Yeah, let's do that. There's a dimensional. I know there's a bit of height on here already. I'm going to stick a dimensional in the middle of that. Take that over there. This comes from a first edition 
oh, I haven't got the stamp set near me. A uh, die set. Um, first edition die set, and it's just a bunch of different slow, slow, <laughs> slow flakes. Snowflakes. These are a couple I tried out the other day and just die cut them. Don't know what I'm using them for yet, but. And then while I'm here, because I've got this big old dimensional, I'm just going to use some of our Jewel Basics rhinestones. Just grab a. something or other. Pick that up with. And because I can, I'm going to, and I can still see the dimensional through the little detail there, I'm actually going to go a little mad. Oh, just picked up a doodad. Get on. I'm going to go a little nuts. And I think Are these in a string? Oh, they might be. I'm just going to stick them on all these little... You don't have to go this mad. <laughs> I've clearly decided I want to... Why can't I get these off? Came off the other day. They did, they did. What a yeast. And yes, I know this is overkill probably. But if you can't do it at Christmas, when can you? Hey? Okay. When can you? And this way it also hides the um, dimensional underneath. Is always nice. So nearly there, guys. Come back. Okay, good old squish. <laughs> Sometimes it seems silly because you don't want to. Squish, squish too much. There you go. Little embellishment. Spur of the moment one, but you know. Ride but see your pants. No, live but see your pants. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> there you have it. One somewhat detailed Christmas card. Merry Christmas, guys. Three weeks or less. No, less than three weeks. Say it in the right English. Woo. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye.